Hello guys, it's Lix or Lixi as some of you might know me by and for today's video, I have an art Q&A as well as a face reveal in celebration of 5,000 subscribers Honestly, thank you guys so much for helping me reach yet another milestone But also, I have a special announcement at the end of this video um, It's something I've been working on for a little while now so I'm super excited to share with you guys So please do watch till the end if you can And yeah, let's just get straight into the questions So the first question is how long did it take you to create your current art style? So when I think about this question, I want to say that my entire art journey has contributed to my current art style in one way or another. And what I mean by that is every time I went through like a phase of art, um, I would pick up certain habits which kind of still is relevant to my current style today. It's something that I've kind of accumulated throughout the years. So if we're talking about duration, I've been drawing for almost a decade now, so I would say around 9 or 10 years for me to reach this style. So the next question is, how did you find your style? Okay, so I'm actually a bit iffy about this one because recently I've been feeling really uncertain and really unsatisfied with my current style. But to answer your question, it was quite simple actually. Um, to find my current style, I just continue on experimenting and also looking at drawings from artists that I really liked. And I would kind of like pick apart their drawings and see what elements that really spoke out to me and try to incorporate that back into my art style. So yeah, basically just experimenting and observation. Observing. I can't English. <laughs> also, please keep in mind that you can have more than one style. Like right now, I enjoy working in an anime-esque style, but I also like to do photo studies and more semi-realistic stuff. So don't limit yourself to one style because that's just silly. <laughs> so the next question is, any tips on traditional and digital media? So a few of my general art tips are to practice consistently and efficiently, which means kind of going outside of your comfort zone as well as drawing ideally every day. Um, my second tip is to use references when you don't know how to draw something. I've talked about this in my previous videos a lot, but I think it's really important and it should be taken more seriously. And um, my number three tip is to experiment in your medium of choice because there are just so many things and ways to draw I think that people can really benefit from experimenting in their medium of choice be it digital, watercolors, oils, acrylics, you know, anything just try to do something new, something that you haven't tried before and my last tip is to don't give up I know sometimes the art journey can be kind of bleak it feels like you're plateauing or even going downhill like your skills are improving but if you give up, it's all over So. Keep resisting and keep on drawing. And the next question is, do you ever get art blocked and how do you deal with it? So I'm kind of weird in the sense that I don't really get art blocked, but I get like motivational blocks, which I think is a thing. Um, but when that happens, I try to redraw my old art to really see the improvement and look at inspirational speed paints or art of other artists. Now I think that might be kind of like a double-edged sword for some people because they see that and they get even more demotivated. But what my take on it is um, when I see that kind of amazing landscape art or background or character art, I think, oh my gosh, like one day I might be able to achieve that and even go further beyond that because honestly, art is limitless. Like you're basically creating anything from nothing. Like the possibilities are endless. You can create anything you want. So sometimes just kind of trying to remember that is enough to kick me back into gear and to continue drawing. But I'll admit that sometimes you really do just need to take a break from art because burnout is a very real thing and you need to take good care of your art feel so you will be able to create more in the future. So the next question is, how did you learn to do lighting? So I definitely learned from references, especially photo references. Um, here is an example of a background art that I did and here is the reference that I used. Um, very similar, right? But I think it's really helpful because I am learning a lot each time I use a reference and it can be applied to other situations that are different from the reference. Honestly, I don't think I know how to do lighting that well yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> and the next question is, what are some art goals you're working towards now? I really want to improve on backgrounds, but also anatomy, coloring, composition, and lighting. I'm also on a style search right now, so yeah, that's also a thing. And last but not least, how would you describe your YouTube journey so far? 
Honestly, it's been a really fun journey, but also with its ups and downs. When a video does really well, I get really happy that I get to share my art with more people, but obviously when a video doesn't do as well, I kind of question myself and wonder if there's something I'm lacking or something I need to improve in. But all the lovely comments and support I've gotten really helps to keep me going, and the audience I have on here kind of keeps me accountable to continue creating more and more art, so I'm actually very thankful for that. A lot of you guys don't actually know this, but I actually started doing YouTube when I was only 12 years old, back in 2011. I would upload my Maple Story speed paints onto this channel that still exists. You probably can find it if you guys tried, but I can also insert a clip of it here of how my art and speed paints used to look like. But yeah, it's been a long journey since then, and I've actually had a lot of fun along the way. And that's about it for the Q&A portion of this video. So on to the special announcement. I'm actually launching a brand new Discord server today, and the invitation link will be in the description down below. Um, if you're looking for a place to share your art, participate in some funny events, uh, maybe have some karaoke sessions where you'll hear my horrible singing, or to just meet people in general, um, feel free to join. I would love to have you. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.